Okay, I think it is time that we start kind of connecting all the dots in the application. And I think we're going to have the homepage kind of be the point of action, one for employees and then also for regular users. I think that will be kind of an intuitive interface. So I'm not exactly sure. I haven't really decided on the final design for it. So let's just play around with it a little bit. I'm going to clear and actually let's get the Rails server running. What I'm kind of envisioning is on the home page, if the user is an admin user, then they should see all of the latest items. So they should see any posts that they need to a review and then also they could see all of the latest items that are pe pending essentially. So if I click home, Right here, it should show the, because uh, I am logged in. Yeah, I'm logged in as an admin. So here, it should, you know, essentially give a, I, I'm not sure, we could set up a series of boxes or something like that that would show all of the pending items. But we should also have something a little bit different on the home page for employees, and that should be a option to, you know, to essentially verify their time. So in this video, let's just create the initial start of that flow. So let's, I'm gonna close all this out. Yes, we can get rid of this, this, and this. So I'm gonna open up home. Right now we have this, which is fine. Um, I, don't, I don't think we really need this though anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm going to set up a few different items. So homepage, I believe, is in static. Yeah, it's in the static directory. And we can keep everything else in static. But let's, uh, let me open static up. And I'm going to create a few partials. So I'm going to say one is going to be the employee.html.erb. And then the other one is going to be the admin. So I'll say underscore admin .html .erb. And let's just place some content here. So h1 hi admin save. And this one's going to say hi employee. I'm doing a base case just so we can make sure that we have something easy to see and that this flow is all working. So I'm going to just set up a very basic, a very basic check. So I'll say if current user, uh, let's see, what's the best way of doing this? Yeah, I think I could do type no, 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 sorry. I think try type is admin. No, what's the best way of doing this? Yeah, there you go. Once again, not the final, uh, not the final design, but just what I'm considering. Okay, else. is a little bit more fragile than I would like but for right now let's just make sure it's working so here we want to render the employee and here we want to render the admin okay refresh hi admin if I do log out and high employee. So this is all working. Uh, this admin user though, this part should be refactored and um, we've done a similar pattern before. Let's go into our, our helpers and application helper. I'm gonna create a method here called admin types and it's gonna return an array. First one's gonna be admin user, the only one for right now. But now what we can do is inside of here, we can say current user 
uh, let's see, how did we do that in the, we did this in the application controller, um, no, in the application controller for dash, or for the admin dashboard. So let's see, admin, admin types include, this is what we're looking for. Okay, we'll see if this works. So what is happening here is we created something called admin types. And now we're saying if admin types includes current user try type, then show the admin partial. And if not, show the employee one. Let's refresh. Nothing broke, which is always good. And here you can see this is working. Okay, so this is better. And the reason why this is better is because now if, uh, if we ever need to check if a user is an admin, we don't need to do it in the view. We uh, don't need to go and say, you know, say that we want to add a manager type or an editor or a read-only admin, something like that. We don't have to go and find every spot in the application and make the change. We can just use our view helper here, admin types, and we could do something like manager. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so that is what we need there. Now in the next video, let's walk through what that design is going to look like, and then we can implement it first for the admin and then for the employee. So let's save this. Get add updated homepage flow for admins and users. Get push. And I'll see you in the next video.